Today we're at the Apple Store with this iPhone 15. It won't charge, and the touch screen is dead. The big question is, can they fix it without losing the data? At the Genius Bar, we explain the issues. No charging, no touch screen. They tried to pull the serial number, but the phone wouldn't even recognize the charger. She said it's most likely a motherboard repair. Okay, I'm gonna have to I asked how much, I, I and then she hit me with this. this unfortunately. If it's worst case scenario, I wanna say that it'll put $700. $700. Then I asked, can we save the data? Um, in the event they swap, excuse me, the motherboard or something like that, data will be lost. But even in the event we go the route of swapping out entirely, data will be lost. Since Apple wanted $700 and couldn't guarantee the data, we decided to take matters into our own hands. Let's open it up and see if we can fix it and most importantly, save the data. We take out the motherboard, remove the sticker covering the test points, connect the charging port, plug in the charger, and begin the diagnosis. Let's focus our attention on the USB-C U9500, a circuit in charge of authenticating the charging port and also helping run the touch screen. This IC requires five volts to enable charging and it also sends an enable signal of about 0.031 volts to the charging IC, giving it permission to charge the battery. An important thing to note is that this is paired with the U9720, and they're encrypted together. That means if one is defective, both have to be replaced. Now let's measure. At the test point for the five volts, we are getting them. Confirmed. Next, we check the test point for validation. Instead of the expected 0.031 volts, we're seeing 0.314 volts. That mismatch tells us everything. It means the validation is failing. And the defective part is the USB-CU9500 itself. First, we remove the stickers. Then we put the motherboard on the motherboard holder. Then we carefully use a Dremel to cut through the metal shield covering the IC. Sure, we could also remove the shield with a heat gun, but that's too risky. And remember, the goal here is to protect the data. Tragically, one capacitor lost its life while we were cutting the metal shield. Poor little buddy, sacrificed for the bigger goal. First, we remove the damaged capacitor. Then we move on to the U9720. Since it's encrypted to the USB-CIC, we need to replace it as well. Finally, we remove the USB-CIC itself. To do this, we apply controlled heat at 380 degrees Celsius, just enough to safely lift the ICs without damaging the board. Then we carefully clean the traces to prepare for installation. And here's the tricky part. Since the USB-CIC and the U9720 are paired together, we can't just buy replacements. Instead, we had to take them from another donor motherboard, an iPhone 15 Plus we had for parts. Thanks, Apple. With everything ready, we install the new capacitor first and then both ICs onto our motherboard using the heat gun. We rebuilt the phone, installed the motherboard, put the screen back on and boom, it's alive. The touch screen is working perfectly, charging is back, and most importantly, the data has been saved, all restored. When Apple says no, we prove yes.